Arizona wants to intentionally walk a batter. Instead, he hits a home run. Coming up next. Little League has some strange rules, and the intentional walk rule is one of them. In this game, Hawaii is caught off guard by this rule. However, there were some even stranger rules that they could have taken advantage of to solve their issue, which we will show coming up. In the meantime, Hawaii has runners on first and second, and their big hitter comes to the plate. The score is one nothing with Arizona on top. This hitter is 5 for 7 in the tournament at the start of this game. The first pitch is wild, which advances the two runners. Now with first base open, the Arizona manager asked to intentionally walk the batter, but he can't. Go ahead and runs in scoring position. You, ha you have to do it at the beginning of the at bat. He's already fallen the pitch. That's okay. well, now that first base is open, Francisco Rivero. The manager for Arizona wanted to intentionally walk Pasquale, which means just you don't have to throw the pitches, but you have to do that at the beginning of the at bat. So if they want to do Little League rules allows intentional walks only at the start of the at bat. Once a pitch is thrown, you cannot intentionally walk the batter anymore. They must pitch to him. After we see the outcome, we'll cover what Arizona could have done to walk this batter without throwing a pitch, but they don't do that. Instead, they choose to pitch to him carefully. And this is what happens. For seven. It's a deep drive left center, and there's a good reason why they wanted to walk him. The first home run of this tournament for Hawaii has turned around the game, and Hawaii now leads three to one. Hawaii goes on to win four to one. But what if they had walked this player instead? The next batter gets on base by an error, and you can argue that a run would have scored. However, the hit would have been an easy out at second with bases loaded, so very unlikely that any runs score if they had walked him. Arizona might still have won the game in extra innings, but who knows? What could Arizona do to walk a batter intentionally without throwing a pitch? With runners on base in normal baseball, if a pitcher drops the baseball while in contact with the pitcher's plate, it's a balk. In Little League, however, there are no balks. Instead, this is ruled a ball to the hitter. Another option is to start the pitch and then stop before releasing the ball. Again, a balk in normal baseball, but a ruled ball to the batter in Little League. Either way, they could have still intentionally walked him according to the rules without throwing a pitch. They're going to concede a run on the right side. Get the infield in, in the left side. All right, so they've called an illegal pitch. He stopped in the middle of his motion, and a ball is charged. So now a one and one count. Now let's suppose that the umpire doesn't allow you to do this, and you don't want to press the issue. Your other option is to have the catcher stand way over here. Again, in normal baseball, the catcher has to stay in a very small catcher's box until the pitcher starts his motion. Only then can he move outside on an intentional ball. In Little League, the catcher can stand way out here and just play catch with the pitcher. You don't even need to pitch. Just stand on the plate and throw like you would in warm-ups. And finally, to get really cute, you can roll the ball across the foul line to the catcher. As long as the ball passes the foul line, it's a legal pitch and runners are unlikely to run home on a ball that's rolling to the catcher. And the batter, while he can still swing and hit the ball, is unlikely to do much good hitting a ball on the ground. For seven. It's a deep drive left center, and there's a good reason why they wanted to walk him. The first home run of this tournament for Hawaii has turned around the game. And Hawaii now leads three to 